Why hello there and welcome back to our video series on the topic of the human eye. So in my last video I was like griping about how it's very hard to take camera pictures with the right amount of light. In this video I'm going to start off by sharing another frustrating experience which is about focus. You know you take photos and then it's all blurry and stuff and you're like ah why can't it just get into the right focus. Right, so getting the focus right is also very important in taking photos. You don't want to get such um, blurry photos like these where you can't even see things properly. Now I doesn't seem to have problem with that, right? The human eye doesn't seem to have problem with focus. Uh, except for if you are like, you know, if you're short sighted or long sighted, which we'll think think about a bit more later. But if your eye is working normally, then focusing is something that happens automatically. Right? You choose to focus on something and it immediately comes uh, into focus in your vision. So how does the eye focus on objects at different distances uh, in different places? That's what we'll be talking about in this video. So right, how does the eye focus on distant or near objects? So here are the textbook pages for your reference and your reading. So firstly, what is focusing? Uh, you'll see this definition in your textbook. Right, focusing uh, or accommodation, that's another name for focusing, uh, is about adjusting the thickness of the lens so that a clear image of objects at different distances can be formed on the retina. So we remember that the lens right, actually helps to bend or refract the light. And remember I said that the lens, the thickness and shape of the lens can be adjusted to bend the light different amount, amounts. For example, a thicker or more convex lens, over here, a thicker or more convex or more curved lens actually causes light to bend. Is it more or less? Over here you can see. Right, a thicker lens causes more bending or refraction of light. So the shape and the thickness of the lens affects how much the light bends. And we'll see how that's important in helping us to focus on objects at different distances. Alright, so trying to focus on an object that is far away and an object that is near to you presents different challenges to the eye. Let's start with the challenge of looking at something that is near to you. You might not think this is challenging, but it's actually quite challenging for your eye. So if you're looking at something that's near to you, right, the light rays from a very near object are actually divergent. It means that they kind of move apart from each other. So imagine there's a point here. Uh, on an object. Let's say you're trying to look at an apple. Okay, I don't know why you don't look at apple for, but let's say you're trying to look at an apple. A point on the apple, the light rays that are coming from the apple, um, because it's very near to you, they are kind of divergent, so they're moving apart. So in order to focus, in order to focus these light rays onto the same point in your retina, we need a greater angle of refraction. We need to bend the light more to bring them into focus. Right, so we need the lens to be thicker and more convex. So you see these light rays are coming from the same point, they're moving apart. We need to bend them more so that they come back together again on the retina. So to see something that is near, the lens needs to be thicker um, and it needs to be uh, more curved. Now, However, if you're looking at something that's very far and distant from us, it has a different challenge for the eye. So if something is very far away, right, actually the light rays from distant objects tend to be more parallel. Right? They, they don't tend to be divergent anymore. They come into the eye quite parallel. And in order to focus these light rays um, onto the retina, we only need a smaller angle of refraction. Okay, so we don't need to bend the light so, more, so much. And therefore the lens doesn't need to be so thick. Right, so this is a less thick and less convex and less curved lens to see things which are far away. Alright, so how does the eye focus on a near object? So remember when the object is near to you, the rays tend to be moving apart, divergent. So the lens needs to bend the light more in order to focus it on the retina. So in order to bend the light more, the lens needs to be thicker and more convex. So how do we make the lens more thick? Well, it has to do with the ciliary body, and in particular, the ciliary muscles. So what do you see happening here? You see that the ciliary muscles 
contract. So when they contract, the ciliary body becomes kind of bulkier and larger. Right? So imagine it's like imagine that you're tensing up uh, that muscle, right? When you tense up a muscle, let's say you tense up your biceps, right? You see that it kind of becomes more bunched up and bigger. So the ciliary muscles will contract and become more bunched up and bigger. And they will move closer, this is what this arrow shows, move closer to the suspensory ligaments. So when the ciliary muscle moves closer to the ligaments, it causes the ligaments to slacken. Right? So imagine that they are not so straight. Okay? The ligaments should be more slackened. Because right? the ciliary body has moved closer to the lenses, these ligaments become more slackened, they're not so tight, and they don't pull as hard on the lens. So the lens is elastic in a sense, so it's able to, uh, its usual shape is more thick and uh, its usual shape is more convex. So when the suspensory ligaments are slackened, the lens kind of bounces back into its usual thick shape. So the lens becomes thicker and more convex and is hen hence able to bend the light more to focus it on the retina. Alright, so how do you remember that for near objects, the ciliary muscles contract? Something helpful that I find is to think about the fact that when you look at a near object, let's say you're looking at your handphone or your computer screen is a near object. When you look at these objects, your, ten your eyes tend to become very tired. And I think of it because my ciliary muscles are contracting. So the muscles are contracting so I feel tired trying to focus on a near object for very long. That's why they also tell you to, you know, every 20 minutes take a break and look at the distant objects in order to relax the muscles in your eye. Right, so looking at near objects is more tiring because your ciliary muscles are contracted. So how about focusing on distant objects? Well, remember that for distant objects, the light enters your eye and the light rays come in at quite parallel. So they don't need to be bent so much. So the lens needs to be not so thick and not so convex. So how does that happen? Well, it's the opposite. So in this case, the ciliary muscles will relax. Okay, so when they relax, you can see that they bunch up less and they actually move away from the lens, right? They relax and they move away from the lens. So when they move away from the lens, it ends up pulling on the suspensory ligaments more. So the suspensory ligaments become taut become tight, and this causes them to pull on the lens more. And when you pull on the lens, it causes the lens to become thinner and less convex. All right, so now the lens is thinner, and light is reflect refracted less, and allows it to focus on the retina for a distant object. Okay, so distant object, your ciliary muscles will relax. So think about what I said, when you look at a distant object, is trying to rest your eyes. Alright, so just to summarize that, uh, for near vision, your ciliary muscles will contract, so they'll bunch up more, and the suspensory ligaments here will be more slack and causing your lens to be thicker. Okay, this is looking from the front uh, of the eye, so imagine that it goes one round like that, the ciliary muscles go one round, and these are the suspensory ligaments. Alright, and uh, when you're looking at something far, uh, focusing on something that's far away, the ciliary muscles will relax, so they will uh, move away from the lens, and causing the suspensory ligaments to become taut, uh, causing the lens to become thinner and less thick. Alright, finally, time for you guys to do some reading before we end off. So read your textbook on these pages. Um, what is focal length? Interesting term. And also you can think about, you know, why does looking at distant objects help to rest the eyes. I've already spoken a bit about this, but you can go and read up more about it in your own time. Now another thing you might be interested in looking at and researching on is what happens to your eye that causes you to have uh, short-sightedness or myopia. Right, those of you all wearing glasses will be very interested in this. And why is it that in short-sightedness we can focus on near objects, but um, distant objects are kind of blurry and not in focus. So what's happening there? And it's the opposite for long-sightedness, right? We can focus on distant ones, but I can't focus on close or near objects. Um, so please, if you're interested, go and take a look uh, and research. Use and apply what we've learned in, about the eye to understand these conditions better. Alright, so I'll see you in class. Uh, that's all for this video.